In this video, we will understand the geometry of a curved ramp in buildings. Before that, let us understand a few things of a normal ramp which will form a base for the curved ramp. This is the total going or total run of the ramp. This is the rise achieved in that going or run. The gradient of a ramp is defined as the dimension of run required to achieve a rise of one unit of dimension. So for a 1 in 12 gradient, if I have to rise 3 feet, then the total going required will be 3 into 12, which is 36 feet. In ramps, generally, the two edges are always parallel. But in a normal straight ramp, they are also equal in length. This results in a plane face for this ramp which is sloping uniformly from top to bottom. But is this the case for a curved ramp also? Let us see. We will now do a curved ramp for the same going of 36 feet and a rise of 3 feet. For that we will first make the ramp in plan. This is the plan of the curved ramp which is one fourth of a circle. This is the width of the ramp. For getting the correct slope in the ramp, this central arc will be taken as the total run or the going of the ramp. Now this is calculated as per the gradient required for the rise of 3 feet. The total run is 36 feet for a rise of 3 feet. Now this is the center of the arc and this will be used in the next step for achieving the ramp. We will now work in isometric view to understand the rising of the ramp. So you can see that I have made equal divisions of the total run by taking radial lines from the center of the arcs. Now these radial lines cut the three arcs at these three red points. At the meeting of each radial line with the central arc, let us make these vertical lines. The height of each vertical line is taken as per the 1 in 12 slope. Then correspondingly, same height lines will also be made at the meeting of that radial line with the inner arc and the outer arc. Thus each radial line will have three verticals with the same height. At this point the rise of the ramp is 0.00, .00. and here it has reached the highest point of 3 feet. And as we move towards left, each set of verticals reduces by 3 inches since we have made 12 equal divisions with the radial lines. If you make more number of divisions, the ramp surface will be smoother. Let us join the top of each set of verticals to make a frame like this. The line on top is perfectly horizontal since it joins the lines of same height. So this green line is perfectly horizontal. This green line represents one level 
on the ramp and each such line represents that higher or lower level of the ramp surface this red line joins the verticals on the central curve of the ramp and this will give us the correct slope of the ramp in the center we started from the rise of 3 feet and came down to zero rise and got this uniform slope of the ramp in the center It is on this red line that we have the desired gradient of 1 in 12. This green line is the slope of the outer edge or the edge of the ramp with bigger radius. Let us understand the difference in slope at the outer edge, the center and the inner edge. This red line is the horizontal distance traveled on each arc between two segments. So A, B and C are these three distances. But for each of these the rise is the same that is R. So A is bigger than B, B is bigger than C. But the rise R is the same for them. And now if you make these three hypotenuses, the three of them are at a different angle. For the shorter distance C, you will get a steeper slope. For B, you will get a flatter slope. and for a you will get the flattest slope and when you will cover them with a plane you will get a twisted plane so when you cover the complete ramp like this the ramp will be achieved with this desired slope in the center there will be slightly less slope at the outer edge and slightly more slope on the inner edge The pink part is the plane of the curved ramp as desired and this makes our curved ramp. Let us take a quick recap. Make the curved ramp in plan The curve may be a segment of a circle and as per the design intent. In this case, it's a quarter of a circle. Take the width as per norms. Make the arc in the center of this width. This central arc will be the total going or run of the ramp. Divide the arc into n number of parts using radial lines coming from the center of the arc. Make these vertical lines on all the radials at these points. Join each set of verticals by this green line. now join the top of each central vertical join the top of each set of verticals on outer edge join the top of each set of verticals on the inner edge and this will give you the curved ramp try doing this exercise on a sheet of paper make different sizes of arcs to understand the ramp 
one important thing. If you have a circular ramp in which you are reaching the next level in a circle, check the headroom at the point where you start rising on the ramp. A headroom is very important. So I hope this small video was useful and it will help you understand a curved ramp. Thank you for watching.